friends. I really just wanted to make a video, but I didn't know what about that all. I have like a notebook. Look at notes and a notebook that are not all fully fleshed out. And even the ones that kind of were, I just wasn't feeling like I was looking at them. But to have to like really do what I need to do to execute them the way I want to execute them, wasn't in the mood for. But then I was like thinking like, look Sarah, you got this camera set up, no one's home, you have the lighting more or less set up. I don't know if it's so great, but you got it. You need to take advantage of this and you're just in the mood to make something. So make something. And then I saw on my beautiful bookshelf this book, Words Under the Words by Naomi Shihab Nye. It's a book of selected poems from several of her books, none of which I actually own. Um, I only have this one and it makes me really sad because she is my favorite poet. She's actually a poet, teacher, essayist, and anthologist. And who knows if things have gotten even more exciting for her since whenever this book came out. <laughs> Reading is hard, huh? But really, when the frig did this one? Is this one from 1995? I'm very confused. 1995. I feel like every single day I think about her poetry. Like in some way, something reminds me of her words. This has meant, my aunt gave me this book and it's probably meant the most to me out of like any thing ever. So thank you, auntie. I don't call you auntie, that was weird. Every time I go into a bookstore, I never see any of her books. I used to at Borders and then they closed, so Barnes and Noble get on it because of a lot of the things going on in the world and the news and just in my own brain and things that I need to apply even more into my own life. Uh, I just, I wanted to read my favorite poem probably ever. It's called Kindness. Apologies for not being a skilled poetry reader and having sick voice. Kind of. To some degree. Kindness by Naomi Shihab Nye. Before you know what kindness really is, you must lose things. Feel the future dissolve in a moment like salt in a weakened broth. What you held in your hand, what you counted and carefully saved, all this must go so you know how desolate the landscape can be between the regions of kindness. How you ride and ride thinking the bus will never stop, the passengers eating maize and chicken will stare out the window forever. Before you learn the tender gravity of kindness, you must travel where the Indian in a white poncho lies dead by the side of the road. You must see how this could be you, how he too was someone who journeyed through the night with plans and the simple breath that kept him alive. Before you know kindness as the deepest thing inside, you must know sorrow as the other deepest thing. You must wake up with sorrow. You must speak to it till your voice catches the thread of all sorrows and you see the size of the cloth. Then it is only kindness that makes sense anymore. Only kindness that ties your shoes and sends you out into the day to mail letters and purchase bread. Only kindness that raises its head from the crowd of the world to say, it is I you have been looking for, and then goes with you everywhere like a shadow or a friend. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the poem. I hope you're inspired to check out more by Naomi Shihab Nye. I hope you're even more than that inspired to practice more kindness and understanding and compassion because did you hear the poem? Anyway, I really appreciate you guys being here. Also, if you'd ever want me to read more of my favorite poems from this book because that's the only one I have, are there any legalities regarding me reading a selection of poems from this book? I don't know. Naomi Shahab will probably never see this. Nye. Forgot the Nye. Naomi Shahab Nye will probably never see this, so I'm imagining it won't be a problem. But that could be very wrong. Ugh, there's so many good poems. If you ever want me to read more poems or if you think this was a really stupid thing, uh, speak your mind, but be kind. I love you. Have a great week. And uh, I mean, maybe keep in mind that if someone's not being kind to you, maybe they're just having a real shit time of it. And be kind to them. That's all I got for you today. Thank you. I love you. Be good. I made that one. It's so nice.